Ah, uh, Mushroom Hill Zone. Or is this known in this mod slash ROM hack, Mushroom Valley Zone? Honestly, I didn't really notice many changes, if any, playing through it, except the name. But I guess if you want to name it something different, it's your ROM hack, so you can do whatever. But if you were paying attention, you might have just noticed that Knuckles was uh, hiding a secret, so why don't we go check that out? And if you run into here, you're going to notice we have those giant rings, but they're not gold. They're rainbow colored. And if you enter one, you enter this place that takes your Chaos Emeralds away. So now you can't go supersonic. This is the Emerald Sanctuary. And when you come here with all the Chaos Emeralds, you can only come here if you've collected all seven of the Chaos Emeralds. And he takes your Chaos Emeralds away and gives you seven new special stages to play in. Completing each of these special stages will give you a Super Emerald, which allows you to turn into Hypersonic. This is the only game this form was in, and a lot of people want it back. I am one of those people, too. Frankly, Hypersonic is a lot more useful than Supersonic. Oh, great. I paused the game and forgot. It... Frankly, Hypersonic is a lot more useful than Supersonic for a few different reasons. The biggest one is... He basically has access to all of the shield power-ups. And with that, I mean, well, you know, with Supersonic, you can breathe underwater because you're invincible. So that goes without saying. But Hypersonic can double jump and he can also dash like with the uh, flame shield. And he can double jump in a similar fashion to the electric shield. On top of the fact that he's also just faster and can jump higher than supersonic it makes him a lot more fun to play around with but it also makes him a hazard if you cannot control running around as supersonic <laughs> so overall it's kind of just an extra challenge you don't need it to get the good ending but if you want to get it it's there and we will be getting all the super emeralds because honestly i like hypersonic it's gay pride sonic is what it is but you'll understand what I mean if you don't know what Hypersonic is when we see him. And with that, we got our first Special Emerald. Super Emerald, whatever. And we're going to move on with the rest of the level. And the fun thing about Mushroom Hill Zone is you can literally find all of the Super Emeralds within the first two acts, I think. With just Sonic and Knuckles, there's nine. And with Sonic and three attached to the Sonic and Knuckles, there's 11. And with the mod, I believe all 11 are available. Ugh. Excuse me. I've had a long day. In fact, it's 7 in the morning and I've been up all night. I just finished recording most of the game footage, so that's going to be interesting to finish editing. And hopefully I'll have it all done within two days, because as of the date I'm recording this, it's the 27th of August. And in two days, I'll have access to Sonic Mania. Which means I can start recording my blind playthrough of that. So, yeah. Um, look forward to that. <laughs> yeah. Although, honestly, by the time this goes up, I might be done with that and moved on to something else. So, But the next playthrough, I'm announcing it now, is Sonic Mania. And it's for the PC. And that's the reason I haven't started playing it yet. Is because I got the PC version. And unfortunately, that got delayed for like seven days I think it was I think it might have been longer but I got it on like the 21st so yeah. I don't remember when it came out but we've already found our second emerald or yeah second emerald second giant ring whatever you want to call it I should definitely not have a career in singing I was terrible, guy. Uh, one of the staples of these uh, special stages is they're uh, a lot more maze-like compared to the um, other special stages for the cast emeralds. They're definitely, uh, they're definitely harder, but they're also a lot more. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Restricted? 
and I just fucked that up, so yay me. <laughs> but they're a lot more um, restrictive, because uh, if you remember in the other ones, they were a lot more opened up, they let you run around a lot, but if you screw up on one of these, you're, as you just saw, kind of fucked. Honestly, it kind of makes for a bit of an interesting challenge if you really want to get them all. It's not impossible by any means. I mean, it's honestly not even really that hard. But uh, switching from the very open space to the very confined space, and I use that with air quotes, it's definitely different. Also, the uh, orange ball addition that makes you jump is kind of nice. You're supposed to collect the blue balls like Sonic. The orange balls make you jump like Tails can fly Sonic. And the red balls beat you up like Knuckles does to Sonic. It's all very uh, representative of what's going on in the actual game. God, what kind of weed must you be smoking to think of that? <laughs> Although, I mean, I... Realistically, that's probably why they chose the colors that they did. I mean, blue is their main character. Yellow is the assist ball. And red is the one you're supposed to avoid. So, I mean, it makes sense. But, God, what kind of weed were they smoking to come up with that idea? But, yeah. So, we got that emerald. Oh, and one of the uh, last differences between these and the Chaos Emeralds is in the Chaos Emeralds, the stage is loop. But in, when you go to the uh, Emerald Chamber, you have the ability to um, choose which special stage you want to do. So you can just constantly retackle the same stage over and over until you get it. Um, however, the caveat is you definitely want to try to get all the Super Emeralds early on. Because some of the later stages don't even have Super Emerald Rings. So, But if you just follow what I'm doing, you should be able to find them all. I guess you could say this is kind of like a tutorial. Um... And I kind of know where a lot of these are, partially because I have a lot of experience with Mushroom Hill. And yes, this goes completely contradictory to what I was saying earlier, where the farthest I've ever gotten in Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles was uh, a Ice Cap Zone, I think is what we settled on, right? Ice Cap Zone? That was the general consensus? Yeah, okay. Well... When I was talking about playing this game on the CD earlier, it lets you choose if you wanted to play Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, or Sonic 3 and Knuckles combined. I would play the other versions every now and then, but I wouldn't get very far. So I would wind up playing Sonic and Knuckles, and if you play Sonic and Knuckles, you have the choice right off the bat to play as Sonic or Knuckles. And either way, they both start you in Mushroom Hill. So, you know, I would uh, jump back and forth between those two because it was something different to see you know and I remember as I would uh, boot up Sonic and Knuckles and just sit there and watch the uh, little test screen I would see Sandopolis and sit there in awe and be like how do I get there I want to go to the desert why can't I be good like everyone else <laughs> but <coughs> honestly uh, I wasn't that great at games when I was a kid but I'm glad that I still play them now they had a very even if i wasn't good at them they still had a very uh fond place in my heart even if i sucked because they were just so interesting to play even if i sucked <laughs> they were interesting to look at everything was fun there was shit to do some of the bosses were really cool to look at the aesthetic of sonic that i, I the aesthetic of sonic particularly sonic the classic games as opposed to the advanced style i really really like uh, I know a lot of people say that the classic games are better and they're classic purists and god the Sonic fan base is like the worst form of cancer but I'm not ragging on anyone but let's be honest it's a stereotype for a reason so but yeah and after you beat that, Knuckles gets to be a dick and send you into the sky. Also, there's a glitch here you can perform where if you break the uh, movement lock and you slide all the way to the left side of the screen before Knuckles sends you up, the pallet swap won't occur and you can run through this level uh, completely unchanged. It's kind of fun. I've only done it once, and I actually did it by accident, so... I mean... 
And the only reason I even found out it was a glitch later was because I guess I always knew it was a glitch, but when I was a kid and I did it, I thought I broke the game, so I turned it off and restarted it. But I found out later uh, by watching, uh, I think it was Son of a Glitch, where they talked about it, and I figured out how to redo it, so it was fun. I haven't redone it yet. I might do it one of these days. Eh. Hey, look, an exception to the rule I was talking about earlier. This is a much more opened up stage. It is. I think it's one of the only ones, though. Most of them are very confined and maze-like. Like corn maze, not like maze maze. You know, t technically, it's something that I always kind of thought was funny. <laughs> the, um, I believe it was the Aztecs, they called corn maze. Or was it the Sumerians? Um, they called corn maze. And so, technically, if you're going walking in a corn maze, you're going walking in a corn corn. <laughs> or a maze maze. <laughs> Whichever you want to pick. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'm kind of a nerd. I mean, but I'm playing Sonic at the age of 22. If you didn't know that, then, uh... Well, I'm sorry, but you're no Batman. Your detective skills are lacking. You need to brush up on your, uh... Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. You know, that's a game series that I've always wanted to play, but I swear I've never been able to find a copy of the games anywhere. I didn't even know they existed until I was in high school, so... I kind of feel like a Dirk, or Dirk, Dirk, it's like Dork and Dick. I kind of feel like a Dragon Quest character. Come on, past me, all you have to do is find a group of nine. It's not that hard. You've walked by it like four times already. I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, see? There it is. See, past me was listening, he knew what was up. And that's four out of seven. I could be wrong, but I think we get the other three in Sandopolis. Like, I think I said earlier that we got them all in Mushroom Valley slash Hill. Uh, that's going to drive me nuts. But, yeah, I th actually think we got the other three in um, Sandopolis, and I think it's because I sucked. <laughs> Could be wrong. Not 100%. Hey, look, a chicken. Oh god, I hated those roosters when I was a kid. Whenever you spin dashed into, whenever I tried to spin dash into them, they would always blow. And right as their uh, blow would end, right as it would stop blowing the wind, uh, it would have just enough energy left in the spin dash to roll straight into them and take damage. And I don't know why. It was a really annoying pain in my ass. <laughs> All the messages. You know, I pretend like I'm not popular and people don't like me, but apparently someone messages me. They say self-deprecating humor is usually the best and most insightful. I hope not. My mind is a very dark place to be then. <laughs> it's almost like Batman's. Only not as cool, or as rich, or as intelligent. Okay, so it's not like Batman's. But I can dream, okay? Let's be honest, I'm more like a fractured Joker. God, God, that's even fan That's even dreaming. Ugh! Why is past me such a scrub with special stages? I just want to reach back in time and slap the fuck out of me. But I can't do that. Oh, um, also, I should probably mention, I, uh, I, uh, had a very interesting experience with Tails during the, um, 
final boss fight. And I got it recorded. And, uh... I'm sure many people have shared the experience, but, um... I had a few choice words to share at the time. So, uh... Yeah, I might need a parental advisory sticker for that one. You know, you would think that they would put another ring there, but no, it's just a transition into what I believe is, I guess, a winter or fall. I, I would say it's more like a winter representation of Mushroom Valley slash Hill. I'm not really sure. I remember... Uh, that it basically goes from like you know summer slash spring to fall is this supposed to be winter i don't know maybe what am i doing oh yeah i remember i was trying to get to one of the special rings that i know i can get to over there but apparently i'm not good enough to do it and i gave up sheesh oh yeah there's a special ring right over there though I am also pretty sure that I failed on this one. But at least we get to watch my failures in stunning HD. For 1996. You know, I'm not 100% certain if I want to do a Knuckles playthrough yet. I know I said I was going to and I want to, but I'm not sure if I should take a break and it goes straight into Sonic Mania, and I did fail. Or if I should um, just go straight into Knuckles, because, I mean, I've kind of already warmed up to Sonic 3. I'm not sure. I'm contemplating it. If I do, though, it, it's... If I do, though, regardless of um, whether I uh, decide to do a Knuckles playthrough right after I finish doing all the editing for the videos, or whether I decide to uh, wait till after Sonic Mania, the video won't be going up till after the Sonic Mania playthrough regardless. So, uh, it might be worth it, it might not. In the end, I'm considering waiting just because that I feel like that makes more sense. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of Mushroom Valley and prepared for the final boss fight. Damn it, Eggman. Uh, I'm sorry, but the music is just so good. It's so catchy. It sticks in here like the DuckTales theme, only it doesn't have lyrics. And watching Tails get smashed by spikes provides me mild entertainment. Not total entertainment, just mild. And with that, we have completed Mushroom Valley Zone, guys. I hope to see you in the next episode. And if I do see you in the next episode, we will be tackling Sandopolis. Because remember, we already took care of Flying Battery. So I will catch you guys next time. This is Nobody, signing off.